Hi, I'm Sam. <laughs> and I'm Rev. And thanks for joining us on another episode of What Yacht to Do. Yeah, we are going around America's Great Loop. And this journey has taken us from Marathon, where we spent a glorious two weeks, out to an anchorage on the outside. Yes, we're going to anchor in the Atlantic. Uh huh. And on the outside. What could go wrong? Well, you'll just have to see. <laughs> Goodbye, Skipjack <laughs> Mar Marina and Resort. Or uh -huh. was it a resort and marina? Uh, it was a know. resort and marina. Yeah. They, um, it was a very great place for us to stay for a couple of weeks. You know, we got to see more of the area. And um, Marathon's a really nice place yeah. to stay. We, and, and you know uh, what? We had cable TV for two yeah, weeks, which we was, haven't had. I mean, that's uh, kind of cool. Since we started, I don't think yeah, we've so had we it. Yeah, we got cable TV and uh, yeah, got as, caught up with yeah. some stuff. As you can see, that on one side is all the marina resort, you know, marina side, and on the opposite side, it was just brush, yeah. what, mangroves, what yeah. do you call So we this? said goodbye to Short Vacation uh -huh. and Mississippi Girl. Yes. And we also went by, what was it, uh, Valentine, Valentine, Shoreline Traveler, uh -huh. and at ease. At ease. Right. some of our friends from the Loop, they're staying there a little bit longer. Some of them are going to the Bahamas. Yeah, so there's two marinas there, uh, Skipjack as well as um, Sombrero. 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 Right. Yeah. A lot of loopers in the area when yeah. we were there. And we are going through, uh, actually this is a restaurant that we did walk down to a number of times, yes. great food down there, great service, and a lot of the... Folks from Boot Key Harbor come out there with their dinghies, tie up and eat, and yeah. then go back to their boat. Boot Key Harbor, as you see right here, is just a massive mooring field, and there is a waiting list to get a mooring ball. There. Wow. Well, that is, there are just so many boats. I'm still, you know, I think I mentioned it in the last video, but it's just so, I'd never seen that many before. Yeah. Some were anchored and some had mooring balls. The, the, the navigation out of this area, you really have to take it slow and follow it. There is a channel there and you definitely want to stay in the channel and take it slow. Watch your uh, depth finders and, you know, just like I said, it, it is it is a little bit of a challenge in getting out of there. I do remember um, seeing three feet. That I think that was the lowest I had seen. And this was supposed to be a high rising tide. And so it was kind of shallow in that area. Yeah, we did time it to go out on a rising tide. I think we left around 9.30 or so. Mm -hmm. And as we're going out here, you can see this one boat. The wind yeah. had swung around. The wind is coming from the north. And uh, this one boat has just kind of out into the channel here so we're kind of getting as close as we can to that right. boat without crashing into it yeah i thought you did a great job didn't even hit that dinghy or whatever you yeah, had tied behind exactly. him yeah we did see quite a few dolphins in this area all right out of uh skipjack out of boot harbor which was uh exciting really got to hug the greens and uh look at the notes on navionics there it gets pretty skinny out there. There's some shoaling going on on the Reds. So we made it out of there, and we are now setting a course to uh, be on the outside. Definitely better going on the outside if the conditions are. You know, a four and a half foot draft boat is pushing it on the inside going up from Marathon. So uh, we elected to find a good weather day and go up on the outside. It looks like a beautiful day. Turn that off. Looks like a beautiful day and we're going to push it up here and try to find a place to anchor halfway to Miami. A couple crab pots out there but nothing, you know, today with the water flat it is easy to see them. So we'll be just fine. The water is absolutely flat. <sighs> And one of the challenges is to try to find an anchorage, we're actually on the Atlantic Ocean, and uh, to the south of us is Cuba. So we want to find an anchorage somewhere where the, the winds are coming out of the north, so we will be blocked by the land in Isla Morado. And there was one called Whale Harbor, so that was my main target to go to. And so we selected that anchorage. It was just a beautiful day on the water. Um, we And it wasn't very crowded. We saw a few sailboats, but then the water turned. Yeah, it started to get a little rocky. 
Yeah, and you see those white caps out there? And then we started to rumble around. And so that's, our, yeah, so yeah. our hope is as we get into the anchorage, it's going to calm down. So our challenge on this anchorage was to, there was a catamaran that was there, which was good, and we kind of saw where he was, and we elected to go a little bit further south of that. And so we sounded our way in there, and the water was eight to nine feet, which was okay. good. And there was a little bit of a wind coming out of the north. I'd say about 15 miles per hour, maybe stronger. That's a little yeah. bit of wind. Yeah, there was <laughs> Anyways, a lot of wind. Anyways, we nosed our way in as best as we could, and then we deployed the anchor. Uh, and also, we have now put a trip line onto our anchor, which is basically if the anchor gets stuck, it's another way to pull the anchor out. And it also has a uh, fender or a ball on the uh, end. Most people put a ball. We don't have a ball, so we had an old <laughs> fender that we used uh, to kind of show where the, the top of the anchor is. And can is. I just add, we hadn't attached that yet. So not only was the, <laughs> the waves going nuts and the wind going crazy, but I was going to have to do spread eagle on my belly and get out there and attach that to the end of the anchor. You missed all that part. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you did a great job. We did a little bit of training about that. And, yeah. Uh, it does give you an idea as to where your anchor actually is. It's and a good idea. And we did some adjustable uh, hooks on it so that if we are in 10 feet of water, we can put that trip line on so that the fender will be just kind of bobbing up and down there. Yeah. Yeah. So it worked pretty good. It worked out great. So the anchor did set, not without a lot of drama, mm -hmm. because the uh, windlass wasn't on <laughs> under the step. And Okay, that was my mistake. I went, to, we have a step where you turn the button on to make the windlass go. And I went down there, I thought I turned it on. Well, apparently I turned it off. And I was like, it's not working, it's not working. So Sam Good said, go check the switch. And I was like, oh. I went and turned it on, but yeah. I'm the weak link in this anchoring thing, if you hadn't noticed yet. So but. we might need a checklist for anchoring. <laughs> yeah, I think we do need a checklist for anchoring. Or if we do it more often, we won't have a problem with it. Uh -oh. So Anyway, so the winds are forecast to go at about 22 miles per hour over the night, yeah. which, okay, it's kind of blowing us away from the shore, so I'm not concerned. And we do have two anchor alarms. We have one on the Garmin, and I have one on my phone. So we have a couple apps. And really, what's the worst that could happen? We could go <laughs> blow out into the Atlantic and end up in Cuba, right? <laughs> so, yes, that anyway, would be bad. Uh, you'll have to tune in to the next uh, session to, yes. to learn exactly what happened. But we got through the night. <laughs> well, we did get anchored. And we saw a lovely sunset. We it was did, beautiful. You know, we were used to having cable TV, so <laughs> gosh, we scanned the channels. We had two Spanish channels, which told me <laughs> we're way too close to Cuba. <sighs> so uh, we had a lovely evening with what? Champagne, chicken wings, and uh, we just had a chit chat. Chit chat we just, about, uh, yeah, a lot, about of, a lot of stuff. stuff. Where we're going next and yeah. what we're going to do after we finish the loop right. and all kinds of stuff. So right. it was fun. It was a, ended up being a beautiful evening. Well, thanks for joining us on this short trip from Marathon to Al Morado, where we anchored on the Atlantic Ocean. Right, and you can always go check out our blog, uh, search for number 91, and see more pictures about our short trip. And always, if you have questions, you can just comment yeah. on this video. Just drop down to the comments mm -hmm. or on Rev's wonderful blog. Aww, There's you. a way to comment on there and mm -hmm. get a question answered. Or if it's more private and you want to contact us, uh, it's crew at what you ought to do. That's right. Dot com. All right. All right. Thanks for see joining us. See you next us. time. Bye. Thank you.